everyone, my name is Underpaid Jam, and today we are finishing out the Oblivion tutorial. This is the last part of our three-part series. This is the third part of our three-part series, and uh, yeah, we're closing out the tutorial. If you would like to catch the other parts, check out videos one and two, which I will have links to at the very end of the video. If you enjoy what you've seen today, please give me a like and subscribe, and if you would like to catch me live, check me out at twitch.tv forward slash Underpaid Jam. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, take care, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye. Peace. All right, so we're going to select the tower. We'll hit done. You want to be born? No, I don't want to be born under the, t under the side of the tower, but I'm going to have to be born under the side of the tower because that's what you guys voted for. I say you guys, that's what one guy voted for. <laughs> okay, are you sure you want to be born under the tower? No, but uh, yes. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. Poor guy. <laughs> what about me? I'll pretend like, I, like I'm having a conversation with him. This is what it... What about me? Your stars are not mine. Today the tower shall prove a stout refuge in time of need. Ah, oh, that's really nice, actually. Okay, you guys want to really? I'm really happy that you actually selected the the tower because I've never heard that line before, and that's a, that's a that's a really nice and sweet line. Okay, uh, aren't you afraid to die? No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. That's good. That's Men good. are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death. For sure. To face my apportioned fate, then fall. So, like, can you see my fate or whatever? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their okay. compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face, I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosha's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. For sure. So, like, where are we going? I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. No doubt. <laughs> you may as well make yourself useful. Carry that torch and stick close. Will do. Stick close and let us do our job. And you'll be alright. Thank you, friend. Poor Mike. <laughs> down. The oh. Oh. Wrong spell! Wrong spell! <laughs> I love the combat. I'm so sorry that I'm in the way right now. Oblivion, take you. you handled yourself pretty well back there. Just keep out of our way. Got it? Yeah, for sure. It's no worries. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mike is just. Uh, Mike is just here. To, oh. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. We're in danger. Oh, I'm stuck. Let's go. I wanted. To, I wanted to change my view so bad, but I. That's not smart. I didn't mean to punch you. I didn't mean to punch you. I'm really sorry. Okay. Door to the sanctum. It is at this point. I love the way that they run as well. Okay. It's at this point that I'm gonna go get my coffee. Almost through. Let's go, friends. Oh, <laughs> very glad that I did not that I did not hit that. Oh wait, no, this is not clear. Don't don't listen to him. Locked. Damn it! The gate is barred from the other side. A trap. What about that side passage back there? Worth a try. Let's go. <laughs> it's a dead end. What's your call, sir? And every time. I'll take a Wait hit. Here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. For, For the, the Emperor! Emperor! <laughs> I'm very anticlimactic. Hello, friend. I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. Uh, he must not have the <laughs> Amulet of Kings. Sir, I, my name is... Take the Amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my Joffrey. last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of oblivion. I suppose Joffrey isn't a very common name, and look what I've done. 
Ha! Try getting the Emperor now. Am I? That's what I thought, pal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, poor Emperor. Talos, save us. We failed. I failed. That's okay. The Blades are sworn to protect the Emperor, and now he and all his heirs are dead. It was written in Destiny, the my friend. Where's the Amulet of Kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. The Emperor gave it to me. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The Amulet of Kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the Red Dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? I'm supposed to find someone named Joffrey. <laughs> Joffrey? He said that? Why? Mm, he knows something we don't. Nothing I ever heard about. Oh, but never Joffrey mind. would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Mm. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory. Near the city of Coral. First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. Okay. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Yeah, well, here. these things happen. You'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. Okay, thank you so much. The sewers? There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced bard. Am I right? <laughs> Okay, you must now choose your class. The major skills of your class will start higher than your other skills. You will increase your level by raising these major skills. Okay, so we've got Bard, which is Stealth, Personality, Intelligence, Blade, Block, Illusion, Alchemy, Light, Armor, Mercantile, and Craft. Bard, not a bad class. All of these like created classes are really not all that bad. Um, and they each have their own cool little graphic, which is neat. I like them a lot. Spell sword. Uh, spell sword is what I want to play as. Sorcerer. Oh, they're so cool. Like, look at them. Monk. Stealth. Agility and willpower. Security. Sneak. Acrobatics. Alteration. Hand to hand and athletics. Actually, I think monk is monk is the one that I is the, is the one that I want to go with. I never played as a monk, so but I have done I have done hand to hand combat before, so it could be worth it. Could be worth it. Okay, we're gonna go monk, which means we need to focus on these things because it's pretty hard to. T <laughs> It's not like Skyrim where you can just deviate and select a different major skills. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to stick to these things: security, sneak, acrobatics, marksman, alteration, hand to hand, and athletics. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Let's do it. I wasn't far off. In any case, <clears throat> rats and goblins won't know. give you any trouble. After the sewers, then what? You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? Absolutely. Yes, I understand. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. Okay, what about you? What, what, what will you do? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You better get moving. May Talos guide you. And you. By the way, thanks for recovering Captain Renault's sword. Oh. I'll see that it is given a place of honor in the Halls of the Blades. Yeah, sure. For sure. <laughs> Take it away from me. Goodbye. Leave the Emperor in peace. Get up! <laughs> okay, time to go. Okay, so we should have taken a bow and arrow. <laughs> but our hand-to-hand -hand combat is just fine as is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Double kill. Oh, I gave him a fresh uppercut. Oh, yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> that hand-to-hand -hand combat is so good in Oblivion. It's so good. It's so weighty and impactful. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think there's a gold piece here? Yeah. Okay, three, two, yeah. one, it's jam. Oh, I missed! Yeah. Listen. Try to, try to fight, try to fight Mike. Try to fight Mike, I don't think you want to. <laughs> Look at him. I like to imagine he's just like totally wrapped up in something he has no intention of being a part of. Yeah. Or no des desire to be a part of. Uh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Poor Mike in his trusty torch. <laughs> okay. Well, alright then. Open this. What do we have? Let's sneak up on this. Sneak up on this rat. He doesn't. Oh, he's peaceful. I forgot. This little sewer rat is like. He's peaceful. 
I think the idea is that you would attack the sewer rat. It's supposed to be like some sort of some sort of training. Poor guy. <laughs> Look at him. Because <laughs> you just got done doing the um, the tutorial, and um, it's like training you to realize that the rats and uh, are like bad guys, and and um, and also how to attack them, how to deal with them. And that's it. Now we are out into the world of of a Cyrodiil. And this is it. Look at him. <laughs> Poor Mike. This guy's going to save the world. <laughs> this is the guy that the Emperor trusted, that he saw in his dreams. Okay, well, perfect. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate having you here, and I hope that you really enjoyed this series. This was the last of the videos. If this is your first time tuning in, you can check out episodes one and two at the very end of this video. If you liked what you saw, please give me a like and subscribe, and if you would like to see me live, check me out at twitch.tv forward slash underpaid jam. I hope that you guys have an excellent day. <laughs> Take care. Bye.